Hello friends, my name is Ramasu. Today we shall discuss about a topic, the Sprint Planning Meeting. Friend, today's topic is very interesting, especially if you have interest in uh, uh, Scrum and Agile and you want to learn about it. So let's uh, start, friend. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you and also you can follow me on the Facebook page as well. Friend, basically in a Scrum, every project is broken into time blocks called sprints usually two to four weeks long. A sprint planning meeting is when the team, including the Scrum Master, Product Owner and Scrum Team meets to determine which backlog items will be handled in the next sprint. The sprint planning Scrum ceremony is a collaborative process that allows team members to have a say in which work happens. Normally before starting this sprint planning meeting, the Scrum Master and Scrum Product Owner should review the team's capacity, look at the overall timeline of the project. First thing is the Sprint Backlog. Friend, your Sprint Backlog is a list of all the tasks you need to accomplish to complete the project. During the Sprint Planning Meeting, your team will review the Backlog to look at what's left to work on and decide what should happen next to keep the project on track. Any items not completed in previous sprints might be moved to the backlog. New items that might have popped up during previous sprints will also be here. Next is the estimate stories. Once you have your backlog of items, it's important to estimate the time or effort it will take to complete each item. This information helps the Scrum Master or Product Owner to more effectively manage the product budget and timelines of the project. To fairly capture this data, the Scrum team will discuss and collaboratively estimate the size of each task, often called user stories, which is done using numerical points, hours, comparative sizes, or another means of comparing the efforts required. It's important to take into account each team member's effort rating, especially if it's substantially higher or lower than the rest of the group. In case that person has insights about the task complexity or simplicity, the rest of the team has not considered these discussions can help get to more effective time estimates. Next one is the determining the capacity. Your team's capacity is a measurement of how many story points or backlog items they can complete during a sprint under normal circumstances. To find your team's capacity, multiply the number of team members by the number of hours they can productively work in a day, subtracting time spent in team meetings or devoted to other tasks or project. Determining the velocity. Next you will want to look at the team's velocity and capacity together. When determining the team's velocity, the Scrum Master or Product Owner should be ready to use examples from the past few sprints or previous projects to indicate how quickly the team usually finish the similar work. So uh, friend, uh, thank you. Thanks a lot for watching the video. I hope uh, you like this video. If you like it, please share it with your friends and colleagues. And thanks a lot for watching the video. Thank you friends.